Good day, y'all. Cheryl here, out in nature. Yes. Nature within. Yes. Love uh, doing this healing work. Uh, yeah, with the people, the animals, and Mother Earth. Yeah, and the pets and the animals, for sure. Yes, on this new Libra moon. Yeah, which also has a solar eclipse on the same day. How blessed we are. Yes. And uh, yeah, so the Libra uh, energy is about balance, harmony, keeping things neutral and peaceful. Um, yeah, it's a very uh, calming energy. And uh, that's why their colors are a blue. Yeah, blue and uh, pink. Either or or both. And I'm wearing blue today. Yeah, Chalcedony. I love that. Yeah, and blue, powder blue. One of uh, one of my favorite colors for sure. And uh, yeah, I have my native uh, bracelet on as well. Yeah, hopefully this one takes. Yeah, is the main picture. Yes. Yeah, so uh, back to the Libra energy. They want us to remain in our own power. Hey, Poochies. Yeah, regardless what is expected of us, uh, anywhere or with any people. Yeah, during this time. So remember that. And Libra is an air sign and represented by the scales. Yeah, balance, which refers to the concentration and balancing things uniformly. They think about partnerships and love arm candy. <laughs> I didn't know that about my brother. Yeah, interesting. Uh, we're all different though. Yes, they do keep everyone happy. They like to try to keep everyone happy. And uh, watch my hot chocolate there, baby. Yes, and uh, they must remember their partner as well because uh, they can get a little bit too friendly with others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that could be happening not just with the Libras, but with any of our energies during this time. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. I'm missing one paper. One must have blew away. Shoot. Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the prayers. I have uh, quite the uh, prayer list today. Yeah, pretty amazing. But, uh, yeah, so we're now we're going to talk about, are you okay? The solar eclipse. It also lands on October the 14th, where it can be uh, relationships, yeah, affecting relationships, for sure. Yes, I gotta put this here. I'm outside and I don't want things blowing away. Yeah, and these dogs will just not leave you alone. Little dogs are always just around. Yeah, they're not big. Go inside if you're chilly, baby. Go inside. Go inside if you're chilly. Yeah, mm-hmm. So the solar eclipse is uh, physically is when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, where there can be a shadow or even darkness that'll appear because the sun is being blocked. This all depends. Good jump there, baby. He's 14 years old. Yeah, way to go, Daisy. Way to go, Daisy. Yeah, and the other one's Poppy that are here with me. Yes. And so, uh, as I was saying, excuse me for the interruptions, but I am house-sitting and the babies do take uh, priority, that's for sure. Yeah, along with you, <laughs> with you all. So this, the sun will be blocked and it all depends on where we live across the world. It will happen on October the uh, 14th at 9.13 a.m. Pacific time or 12.13 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or 1600 hours, 1613 uh, at um, Greenwich uh, Mean Time, which is in London. Yes, right, Crow Energy? Oh, there's a couple of them. Hi, babies. <laughs> yeah, Crow Energy. Mm hmm. But we're going to be talking about another animal energy. Yeah, that happened to a lot of us in a bit. Yes, we will. So, yes, I would like to start now with our prayer time. Yeah, we got a little bit of a list. I'm going to be burning some sage. Yeah. 
I have my sage stick, but I want to use up yeah, the other pieces that were left behind after I wrapped my sage. Yeah, I collected it and actually I was gifted this sage in uh, Alberta. Yeah, by these nice ladies, which was awesome. So I got to wrap my own. Yeah, that was just beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to do a cleansing. Careful, babies. That's a hot lighter there. Yeah. We're going to do cleansing first on myself. I did cleanse myself this morning, but I'm just showing you. With my feathers. I got a collection of them. Yeah. Eagle. <laughs> Pheasant to uh, the white snow goose. Mm-hmm. Canadian. Uh, Canadian. Uh, or Canada goose, I should say. Yes. Yeah, and getting the smoke. Sage is very cleansing, yeah, for the mind, body, and soul. Doing the front of myself. And then I will do, actually, yeah, behind me as well. Yeah. Yes. Mm hmm. Hey guys, you guys don't need to be cleansed. You're animals. Yeah. Mm hmm. And don't forget our feet. Yes. Our feet need to be cleansed as well. Okay? Yeah, you guys don't have to be cleansed. No. And sending some cleansing your way. Yes, as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. To you, your family, loved ones, your pets, and all. And I'm going to call in our seven directions as well mm -hmm, to help us with this healing healing and prayer time yes mm -hmm. we're calling in yes please the energies of the east yes may you be cleansed and come in and the west which is behind me yeah and to the north the north and the south. Mm -hmm. Above, below, below, and within us all. Yes. Mm. Thank you for all this healing. Yes. And then I will take the sage. Yeah, after it burns and I will place it make sure <laughs> it is totally out and then place it out in nature yes and bring uh, put it back to Mother Earth mm hmm we thank you and saying that prayer <sighs> yes mm. please surround us in the white light of Creator God Close for us are spiritual centers, and also please surround us in your rainbow light of protection. We ask that all negative thoughts, situations, people, and so on be returned back to the universe to be dissipated with the holy dove of peace and all thy Christ. Amen. Aho. Namaste. Shalom. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Tisei Be'ev. And so it is. Creator God, upper powers, ascended masters, healers, passed on loved ones, ancestors, animal, other guides, and angels, please join us today in uh, these prayers. Yes, send out healing and love to all, and let us be cleansed. Yes, during these times and always. Mm -hmm. As above, so below. Hey, baby, if you're chilly, go inside. You can go inside or here. You want to see the feathers? There. You, can, you take care of the feathers. Okay, baby? You like seeing the feathers, eh? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to grab the list of uh, <laughs> prayers. Yes, we got quite a bit uh, of prayers to send out today. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. You like those feathers, eh, baby? Good. Yes, uh, so we are uh, sending out the prayers and healing to Israel, United Kingdom, Ukraine, and all, all over the world. 
Iran and whatnot, all of you. We send out the healing prayers and uh, to the Canadians, Americans, everywhere across the world, Paris, so on. Yeah, all of you. Yes, we would like to also send out some prayers uh, to the Tesla vehicles. Mm-hmm. The it's called phantom braking. Yeah, on the Tesla vehicles, uh, the brakes are just all of a sudden like they could be going I don't know eighty to a hundred kilometers or whichever, and all of a sudden the brakes will just like slam down, and it brings them down to ten kilometers. Very dangerous. And actually, there was uh, a person that was rear-ended and passed away. Yes. We send out the healing prayers to that uh, person and their family and to get these brakes adjusted. Wow. Mm -hmm. We would also like to send out the healing prayers uh, to a gymnast, Mary Lou Retton of the United States. She has a very, very deep pneumonia. We send it out to you. I hear a plane going by. That's my dad. He was always uh, scared of uh, heights. So when I see a plane, hi dad, and it's a bush plane, yeah, hi dad, and dad, I'm going to bring him up later, and mom, they're proud grandparents of another grandchild, but they're both on the other side. Yeah, my nephew had his first child, a baby boy, <laughs> yeah, on October the 11th, yes, I'll bring that up in a bit, uh, a little bit more, yes. As prayers of thanks that's for sure yes and uh, we would like to send out the healing prayers to a couple and their poochie uh, that were killed by a grizzly bear really yeah in uh, Alberta yes in Alberta we send out the uh, healing prayers and then uh, they they actually went and killed the bear I don't know who they are, but anyways, they went, uh, the government or I don't know which organization, they went out there and they killed that bear. Unfortunately, that is their demeanor. And it didn't help that there was so many fires and record high temperatures that have been going on right across Canada and elsewhere. And there is minimal berries out there for the animals. And that is what's going on. And the trees, how many trees that burnt, Un unreal. I still think about you trees and send the healing to your trees. Yes, and our mother earth. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why an animal would be killed because of their natural instincts. I really don't. May they be blessed and send prayers to those people um, where they were forced to do this I guess with their jobs and whatnot yes I like to send out a healing prayer uh, to a bird yeah a bird I found one morning right here on the back deck yes uh, actually on October the 11th October the 11th no word of a lie that's when I found the bird and I didn't know if it would come to later so I wrapped a paper towel around him and uh, let him sit over here and then the following morning he was still there so I knew that he had passed uh, yeah so I um, so what I did is I uh, I buried him yes uh, on the property here uh, there's bush all around and uh, that's what I do is I always have a animal little cemetery wherever I live uh, yep, yeah. and uh, yep, yeah. and I always find uh, a branch that's in the shape of a cross. Yeah, so that's what I did and sent out a prayer. Now, uh, when someone passes, that actually is a message about reincarnation. Reincarnation when uh, something new is going to come in or even a new child. And honestly, no word of a lie, that bird that I found, I knew there was something deep about it. And I was actually kind of worried about my nephew and uh, his wife having the child. I knew the child was due in October. That's all we knew. And I didn't, we didn't know if it was a girl or a boy. And I told him months ago, 
I said, Austin, I says, I'm sure, I'm, I got a really strong feeling it's going to be a boy. And it's so nice that I'm wearing blue today. It was a boy. <laughs> a boy. Yeah, they had a baby boy. He, uh, yeah, they're just both so happy. I am just happy with joy. So really, even when someone passes, remember, it is also because there's a renewal coming in. Yeah, something new. Another thing I forgot to mention is uh, about the bears, back to the bears. Uh, yeah, about that couple and so on. But I personally came so close to a bear at the end of September, a black bear, I am telling you, 200 feet away from me. I was petrified, petrified. Anyways, I got away. Thank God for that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that there was a uh, jumping uh, pink salmon going on in the creek behind me. Yes, I was doing actually a video, <laughs> a video. Oh my God. And then the first day I came here uh, with house sitting on October the 4th, yeah, on my brother's birthday, that is when I seen another bear, but from a distance. At least I was inside uh, the house. So that was another black bear. So, uh, yes, uh, what I wanted to talk to uh, all of us today is remind uh, about the uh, black bear energy. And not just the black bear, we are going to find out about the grizzly bear too. What is the message with that? There is a lot of bears. It's not just myself. Uh, and this happened here in uh, on Vancouver Island. I've been hearing there's a lot of bears around the poor babies. There's not as many uh, berries for them. Yes, we pray for them that the, uh, oh my God, that their tummies will be filled for their hibernation time and that they can stay calm and sleep during uh, these winter months. Yeah, here in, uh, you know, the northern hemisphere yes so i'm going to read from the animal uh, spirit guides yeah by stephen farmer yes mm -hmm. he's a shaman stephen farmer yes so here is the bear energy oh, can you see him there you go yeah there's the bear and he's got a baby with him too cute that is that one is that is a big one that one is a grizzly bear. Yes. So the bear energy is the message for this month, I believe, is what's going on. And it's saying to us during this new moon and solar eclipse time, the sun was out. It'll be coming back out again. Uh, so we need to set clear boundaries like the bear and don't compromise even if pressured. Ask for what you want. Uh, whether or not you feel that you will get it. Mm -hmm. Get going on that creative project uh, you have in mind. Take some time out from your usual routines and send, uh, spend some time in solitude. I call it hibernation time. That's why I think that happened to me. And then maybe it's for all of us at this time, October. Get ready <laughs> uh, for the winter months. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, and uh, you may need, uh, be in, in need, you may be in need of physical or emotional healing right now. And that's totally what I'm going through. Yes. Uh, yes, and uh, it's positive too. It's a new, uh, new, new moon. Be gentle and show your love to those that you are closest to. To find answers to your questions, go inside within rather than reading or consulting with others. Yeah, connect with Creator God, our angels, our guides, ascended masters. We have, uh, you know, um, guides and angels around us as well. So remember, we're not alone. Now we got the black bear and grizzly bear. Ooh, <laughs> we're gonna read up on that. So the grizzly bear, Yes, let's find out about the grizzly bear energy, the brown grizzly bear. Stay grounded no matter what. It is time to bring your dreams and plans to fruition. And it is important to trust your instincts. Enough hiding. It's time to come out and meet the world. 
Don't just wait for something to happen. Take action now. And that's what I'm going to be uh, doing come next month. Yeah. Yeah. So now the black bear energy, that is for me, uh, for others, whatever resonates with you uh, out there. Yes. It is important time for meditation and introspection going within. Balance your activities with periods of rest. Not all work. We need time to rest as well. And don't forget to play. That's what I have to remind myself. And these three poochies here are helping me do that. They make me smile. They make me laugh. We're going for a walk after this. Uh, yeah, video. For sure. Yes. And uh, yes, it, to find answers to your questions, we need to go inside rather than reading. Or, oh, whoops, excuse me. I was reading up there. Uh, yes. So um, balance your activities with periods of rest and don't forget to play. Allow any darkness that you discover in yourself to teach you a lesson. Yeah, so when we did something improper or something happened to us, it's like, what is the lesson in that? Instead of going outwards and blaming others and so on, go within and say, what is my lesson? Or even ask your angels and guides and so on. What is the lesson in why this happened? And the more we connect with them by meditating and so on, that is where uh, we're going to receive messages. And the first thing that comes to us, remember, that is uh, uh, the message. Yes, and don't put it aside like a lot of us. We don't like dealing with negative and, uh, you know, uh, negative uh, energies. And when something negative happens to us, we kind of push it aside and we don't even think about it. We need to digest and think about these things and like write them out. Like my girlfriend, Catherine says, yes, Soul Light Intuitive on YouTube as well really she is the one who really coached me is like cheryl and all of us please don't forget to write down these things that have you know upset us or happened to us or the good things and the lovely things too speaking of that it's a new moon it's a new moon and what better time to journal and write down all the new things we want happening in our life but don't speak or write about the future we need to uh, we need to write about it's happening now so even write down I feel this way I can feel you know when you're talking about what you want uh, you want to feel it and then uh, express uh, you know what you're doing <laughs> what you're doing with this beautiful new energy that's coming in for you yes so, uh, blessings all on this new moon. Yes, solar eclipse. It's time for new changes, for sure. Especially January of 2024. Yes, when the uh, planetary energy of Saturn is going to be moving out. It's been around for years and it's been a doozy for a lot of us Capricorns. And a lot of us people across the world, all of us really, and the Aquarian air energy is going to come in. Yes. Before I forget, yes, wearing blue stones or pink stones, uh, gemstones, this is actually turquoise. -y. It's almost like, a, yeah, it's a bluish. So that could be in the family of blue almost. Yeah. So turquoise is a stone to... Uh, Sodalite, sodalite we use on our throat chakra. There's so many gemstones of blue. Uh, yeah, for the third eye, we use, uh, yeah, many, many different stones. Uh, yes, and uh, yeah, sodalite, I just can't think of. There's, there's just a huge list of them, blue stones. Yeah, and you can wear pink ones too, if you like pink we got the rose quartz and there's jade that may be in some of those colors and speaking of pink seeing my first really my first live starfish it was like a pinky purple I got a picture of it just beautiful yes so remember all the bare energy let's go within yes and do our healing work 
Yes, take time for you. Yeah, and also our new moon time. Let's do new things, new beginnings. It's our time. Blessings all and keep nature within.